stay in your magic. The worst part for me of thinking about where my life would be right now is that I imagined something greater. Um, when I was young, I came from a small town. My family was very supportive of my dreams and being an artist. And my mother was very adamant about me being happy, about me being what I wanted to be. And then as I met other individuals in my life, especially after college, um, one friend in particular kind of made me realize that you know, other people who grew up differently, other people who may have been, who were successful, uh, worked very, very, very hard. Um, and when I was younger, I honestly didn't work that hard to get the praise that I got from my little artistic hobby. I got a lot of attention. Um, from kindergarten up, people were telling me, oh, you're gonna be a great artist. You're gonna be a successful artist. You're gonna be so great. Will you draw something for me? Will you do something for me? Because I wanna be part of the success when you blow up. Um, and I heard this, I heard this so often. My only sense of competition, my only sense of, of s someone greater than myself would have been my sister, um, who I guess sparked the need to get better because she painted and she drew all of her life and she was always making comics and making um, paintings uh, for everyone. And I had always enjoyed art myself, but I had never thought as a young person that I was going to be an artist. I had other dreams. I wanted to be a dancer. I wanted to be a singer. I, I feel like a lot of kids want to be that when they're young anyway, because they see that in celebrities. And that's where I was. I didn't really expect myself to be an artist. Um, or to take it so seriously. But I will say that I think it was something that I was good at. And I think it's something that because I was good at it, people pushed me to do it more. So I did it more. Um, and it encouraged me to do it more. And I kept getting better. And I feel like once I got to a place in my life, um, especially after going to college and seeing the amount of talent there is out in the world, I mean, it's one thing to know that there are better people than you out there, but it's another to experience it firsthand with people that you interact with, people that I was with in class, the people that I, you know, saw on a daily basis in my building, that there were people right here next to me, right where I was, that were better than me. Um, and it really hit home, I think, that this was going to be a lot harder than I thought. I thought that I would go to college, I would get my degree, I would find a job, I would be successful, I would live the life I wanted by the time I graduated or not soon after and not have to worry about everything that I am worrying about now. Um, it is a struggle to have the kind of financial freedom that I thought that I would have at this point. So I don't want to diminish the fact that I don't love being an artist because I do. Um, and I think you would relate to that if you're any kind of creative at all that you know that you're doing it because you love it at this point, not just because, you know, you want something out of it or uh, the monetary gain of it because it just doesn't come that often uh, and when it does it's it, it validates you in some way but it's not there every day what is there is the work um, and something that I learned from uh, this book that I read kind of sparked 
um, the journey of an artist, and it is The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron. I used to quote it constantly. I used to just reread, reread, and just go back to it so much because it's more about the journey of an artist, the journey that you take creating, being a creator, and realizing that your magic is in creating. Uh, and it's not necessarily the work after it's done. It's not necessarily the praise that you get afterward, the money that you would get afterward. Because in the moment, all you have is the work. All you have is what's in front of you. And the things that you bring out of yourself in order to get this image on the page to make something out of nothing is incredible and it's not something that everybody can do um but it's most important that you do it for you that you do it because you have to you do it because if you don't you start to go insane that you can't create something that you can't make something today and for me it makes me irritable it makes me incredibly impatient with people and with the things going on in my life if I can't take a minute for myself to make something to create something it's just it's a necessity and I can't stop it at this point i mean i couldn't stop it if i wanted to honestly um but i don't want to i love creating i love being able to take something and make for me magic on the paper it is incredible to me that i can take an idea from my head and put it down for someone else to see and to have them experience it in their own way, uh, apart from what I experience making it. Another book I would recommend that you read or put in your arsenal is Art and Fear, uh, Observations on the Perils and Rewards of Art Making. Um, in the same vein of The Artist's Way, it is very affirming in the idea that the only thing holding you back is yourself. The only thing holding you back is fear. Um, and that there is no magic formula for becoming an artist or being one. You simply create, you simply do, you simply overcome the fear of judgment, overcome the fear of not being successful, overcome the fear of not being perfect, letting go of perfection because perfection is unattainable. And no matter how good you are, perfection will never, can never be part of what you do. Um, because perfection is simply that, perfection, and people want it and strive for it, and it may be good for you to strive for it, but to have perfection stop you from creating is just as bad as letting fear stop you from creating, and it is very much the same thing, because you fear that you can't be perfect, and it is the fear that's holding you back. If you just created, you would feel better. If you just created, you would be able to let go of the fear that stopped you and be able to let go of the idea of perfection because it is only stopping you. So with all this in mind and with all that I've said, with the books that I've shown you, I am hoping that I can bring something to my channel that will be of use to you, that will be helpful in expressing some of the things that I've wanted to express and kind of just go over, like I said, the daily struggles, the perils of art making, um, and hopefully that will aid me in unblocking some of the things that I fear stand in, in my way. Um, being able to verbalize some of the things that are in my head I feel would make them less powerful 
and more powerful for someone else to hear and be able to use and be able to take into their life and create something that they want to make their life better and that's going to be the purpose of what I'm doing in this series now and it will basically be what it takes to be an artist and to see the good and the bad that happened uh, on a daily basis um, because it is a daily struggle and you know all you have is today and all you can deal with is today and you can try to prepare for the future um, and learn from the past I know it, it sounds cliche, but it's it's true, and you really have to be present in the moment and make a decision right here and right now to do, be, say what it is that you want and to go for it. And I hope that that in some way motivates you to do just that, to, to just go for it. And when you find it hard to do that or hard to let go then I hope you know that you're not alone in that sentiment you're not alone in that feeling and that other artists other people other creatives other everyone <laughs> basically is going through the same thing and we're all trying to make something of ourselves and we're all on our own journeys and at the end of the day we should be helping each other and not tearing each other down and trying to make this world a better place to live <laughs> because it's it's gotten crazy and I I feel like growing older it is getting crazier um, but it's also getting more amazing. Just know that if you feel bad about where you are in life, that it's okay. And every small step that you take towards what you want is a step in the right direction. And you have to take the small step. And you have to do it today. You have to do something. Um, and then maybe I can help with what it is you can do. Um, I don't know why I'm such a big nerd for, <laughs> like, books like this that are helpful. Like, I, you know, I find them helpful for me, um, but I also find that reading things that are helpful for taking small steps like that are helpful. So I, I can pass that knowledge on to you in any way that I can, um, and hopefully that will help you take whatever small steps you need to take to feel better. Because I think that the only way to feel better is to take the step. To be proud of the step that you were able to take today. And then 10 days from now you are 10 steps closer than you would have been if you had did nothing. Love yourself and care for yourself and you know try to be happy and <laughs> and help each other help each other because there's nothing like helping someone and being helped by someone to make the day seem worth it so until next time.